Welcome to our latest Ideas Power for Business talk for you. We do these in collaboration with members of our Ideas Powered for Business network, a network of business players created to help and empower European startups and SMEs or small and medium enterprises like you. Today, we have network member European Business Angels Network, IBAN, with us. We also have the company of Som Biotech, which has benefited from support from IBAN. Ian Soso, member of IBAN's Board of Directors, winner of the Best European Early Stage Award in 2019 and founder of Monte Carlo Capital, which invests millions in early stage deep tech and highly disruptive businesses, is here today. Ian, welcome. Could you explain some of the actions that IBAN takes to help entrepreneurs? Sure. Um, IBAN deals with entrepreneurs, helps entrepreneurs in different ways. Uh, first of all, uh, we organize uh, pitching opportunities at flagship events. Uh, we have two every year in October in Brussels and uh, over the summer in June in different cities. So next year will be in, in Athens. Uh, we also organize ad hoc events, online pitching sessions with entrepreneurs who get a chance essentially to pitch in front of uh, angel investors. Um, Iban also organizes uh, training sessions. Uh, we have various EU funded projects and educational initiatives. We have the Iban Academy, for instance. We provide extensive training to entrepreneurs on, on topics ranging from investment readiness, how to perfect your pitch or your presentation skills. Uh, we also organize uh, um, pitch dry runs, one to one mentoring sessions with uh, entrepreneurs so that they can get feedback on their uh, pitch. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, uh, Ian. So basically, you offer, in general terms, networking and training opportunities. Yeah. And Correct. Correct. Yeah. So how in taking this into account, how relevant do you think IBAN is for EU entrepreneurs in general? Well, IBAN is very important, right? So you have to remember the financing cycle of a startup. It typically starts with friends and families, and it goes to the angel investors, and eventually it goes to the venture capitalists. So you have to go through the angels at some point, and it's very important for any entrepreneur to understand uh, what angels seek when they are um, investing. Um, so the first thing they need to do is really reach out to uh, the angel networks that may be uh, located around where the um, entrepreneurs are based, get in touch and really get on their radar. Okay, thank you. So it's sort of a cycle. So it's family, friends and business angels. Correct. And then VCs. Okay, thank you. Uh, today with us, uh, we also have Raul. Uh, Raul Insa, and thanks to Iban, his company, uh, Som Biotech, actually benefited from Business Angels financial support. So Raul is the CEO of Som Biotech, an innovative bi biopharmaceutical company, and Raul has a PhD in clinical neurology. He founded Som Biotech in 2010, together with other startups focused on therapeutics. Could you share your business angel experience and tell us if you had a brand or other intellectual property registered when you first reached out to Iban? Yes, sure. Thank you very much for the invitation. Business angels have been fundamental for the investment uh, in Sun Biotech. In our company list of shareholders, there are around uh, 40 business angels, which are uh, one uh, 83% of the ownership of the company. And uh, they decided uh, to risk uh, not only their money, but also their time because of our strong uh, IP portfolio, which mm -hmm. includes uh, trade secrets, company name, logo, and also seven registered families of patents that cover around uh, 75 individual patents worldwide. So this market protection is fundamental for the business angels as uh, it gives a potential uh, return on their investment. Thank you, Raul. So you're saying that over 80% of your initial business was financed by business angels and uh, that IP, intellectual property registered rights, actually played a crucial role for some of them to, to invest in you. Thank you. Ian, I would like to move on to you again. <laughs> 
Um, many startups would like to know if eBAN would consider them, even if they're right at the very early stage of their existence. What do you think? Sure. So it really depends what you what you mean by very early stage. Keeping in mind, you know, you have these different phases, starting with friends and family, and then moving to to the angel investors. I would say, particularly anything that is IP backed. So it could be, for example, the spin off from universities. You know, the very first instance is typically getting uh, financing from various grants, and this is where various programs from the European Union actually become very handy. At the time when they are looking for, I would say, anywhere between a half a million to you know two million, you know, the I would say the pre-seed to the seed stage, this is when really they have to approach the the angel investors, and this is when they need to come uh, and and speak to the angel investors they may know directly or approach the angel networks in their city really to get on their radar. And typically, the sooner they do that, the better. It's very important that the entrepreneurs really understand how to present themselves, what are the angel investors are, are looking for, and be as ready as possible when they're approaching them. Thank you, Ian. So it does vary a lot, but you do think that the sooner the better. So thank you, Ian and Raul, for your insights, both from a business angel perspective and from a company receiving business angel financing. At the UIPO, we are looking into how a European trademark could be given an estimated value. Pedro Barrados from our financial department is here today. Pedro, could you explain a bit more, please? Well, yes, actually we are experimenting, thinking how um, an online tool could be created for users to simulate the potential economic value in monetary terms of uh, an European trademark. Mm -hmm. However, this would not replace professional IP valuations. Okay. The aim of this valuation would be to raise awareness for people to understand how valuable intangible assets like IPR and how they can really help us in it. Thank you, Pedro. So in a nutshell, investing in intellectual property may help to be invested in. I would love to thank everybody uh, both for being here and for watching this video today. And uh, please remember that the UIPO, we offer funds to register intellectual property and EBAN offers a huge network of business angels to invest in your ideas. Right now, you have a quick slide with the top tips and findings of today's session. Thank you.